Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. All these letters. The Sarah in this letter. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Can <laughs> to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Shoot. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is pro tip when digging for secret even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. Must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Mm. Which of these is. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. If I can figure out how. Okay. How do I destroy a glove? Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That Arcadia Bay is least wanted. Of course. Chloe, you do know you all left the front door open. I 
don't see any fire on it. I'm just seeing it burnt up a little bit. Oof. Better not touch that again. James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Payment? Here's hoping James already has Demon's money. You're not gonna close the doors? You know, you can't leave them open. Sarah sent all these letters. I guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Just look at these ships. Arcadia Bay is least wanted. Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. <sighs> oh, 
Holy shit. That must be thousands of dollars. No wonder Damon wants it so bad. Sarah, and she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? <gasps> Chloe, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I... I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. For real. And that explains... you breaking into the DA's home... and having... this? Believe it or not... yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. Sorry. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look. I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's... Fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. No one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. 
hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. That ever happened. Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Nope. You are totally out of your mind. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Nope. I don't believe you. Elliot's gone full-blown... We'll arrest you. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. There is no we Elliot. It's you All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I... Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I I'm worried about you. I'm fine. Y you're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I... 
I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The or... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look. I I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look. Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real, and I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What... What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once! Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. No, you're not helping me. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. The way you're behaving. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? I don't think I will. No, you are out of line. Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and 
We should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm attempting to move on, but it feels like I'm being blocked against my will. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you, no matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they, they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? I guess it depends on what it was. 
That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less? I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I guess it's better this way. Not knowing. Then I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? Where the hell is Sarah? Frank's couch is toast. Coming back to this mill after episode one? Amazing. See the bone made it. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Sarah's got to be. My daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he... daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junk. I just want to see her. You don't have to... Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck?
You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho, 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so... So sorry for Rachel. Can never know. I, I think you need help. Let me let me call someone or something. I need you to listen. What James did, hiring that thug, shooting me up. He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never. Sarah, you're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No. You're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I... No loss. I lost my father to 
years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me.
Wait. I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? <laughs> Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. What? I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. Maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know... wherever she is. She loves you... very much. How... do you know that? Because... Why should she be any different from the rest of us? Complete episode 1, 2, and 3 of Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. Before the storm came, yes. So, Frank did kill Damien. Or Damon.
to be honest, that guy was a punk. A punk. Bye bye, Elliot. Oh, the principal's out there. Doesn't look happy. Drew's out. Advancing years later? Nope. Well, fast forward. Chloe's hair is yellow still. You can't go into settings or anything since this is the end game. The cutscenes you're seeing. Here it comes. <laughs> the blue haired Chloe Price. Man, oh man, it's insane to see her with blue hair in this game fully. Chloe was here, and now Rachel was here. All leading up to the first Life is Strange game, which came out back in 2015. I mean, I did enjoy playing the original Life is Strange, but the remastered? I want to s I only played a little bit of episode one, not too much of the episode. Or episode one through five. By Deck Nine. It's crazy to see that Deck Nine actually made before the storm way back then in 2017 yeah we had to wait for each episode of life is strange before the storm episode two and three to be released including the bonus episode farewell i remember that part
we have to wait for other episodes by Telltale Games to be released. Also, like The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, which was not that great because of Clementine being the support character instead of playing as her fully. We get to, well... I mean, I do remember Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We had to wait for episodes of that. Episode 2 through 5 to be released. Other stuff like that. So, yeah. For The Walking Dead, the final season, the game was great and all. I mean, Clementine's story did end it with her being alive, AJ taking Clem's leg, and all that. Amazing. I thought that she was gonna die, actually, but she's still alive. But, anyways. Telltale's last game, The Walking Dead, the final season. Now, five years later, Telltale Games is releasing The Expanse on July 27th, which comes out in about six days. You didn't tell me. Rachel. Killed the plant with Neglet. Killed the plant with soda. Accepted the photograph. Didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Yeah, visited the North at the hospital. Didn't donate to the fire fund. That's true. Sheldon was a snitch. Rachel didn't meet her mother. That's true. Them taking pictures together. So the game advanced three years later in 2013. Three years after 2010. April 22nd, 2013. 17 missed calls. Oh, oh, that guy, Jefferson. That no good fool. I'm glad that he was taken care of in episode 5 at that time. Now that you've completed the Before the Storm, say goodbye to Arcadia Bay and the bonus farewell episode. Yeah, an episode that takes place before Life is Strange Before the Storm and Life is Strange 1. Last time we'd be in Arcadia Bay. Well, that's it for this. Hope you all enjoyed. Telltale's The Expanse is coming in the future. Six more days left. And then that's it. Can't believe it. Six more days. Then we'll have to wait two weeks for each episode to be released. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, subscribe today. Give a like, comment below. I'm going to do the collective mode in this. And that's it. Just to get the graffitis I missed only. See you all later, and goodbye.